Hello and welcome back to my channel and my channel is Katrina's Creations. I am Katrina, the long awaited missing Katrina's Creations. I have not done a video, maybe it's been about a year, I'm not sure. It's been a very, very long time and a long time coming. Um, I have still been crocheting, even though I'm not making videos that often or at all, I am still crocheting. I'm very much, I don't know if you can see, like I've just, well, I haven't finished organising everything, but you know, this is my little yarn corner or my yarn office. This cupboard here, as you can see, is full of yarn as well. So I am still very much in the yarn game. I just haven't been doing any videos. And as a due, I think more more so due to the world not being as structured, struct, structured as it normally is. So obviously normally everyday kids get up, they go to college or they go to work and like you've got your bits that you need to do while they're out and none of that has happened because of lockdown and, and the C word. So um, it's just been hard finding the motivation to just get up and, and do what I need to do. But today I'm up early. Um, I have my swimming costume on because I'm going swimming in about an hour with my sister. Um, but I thought I would pop on and say hi, let you all know that I am here. I'm still alive and healthy. Um, and I wanted to show you what I have been doing over the last, I don't know, it's been how long it's been, but it's been a while. So um, I've got a few people that are having babies. So there's a couple of blankets that I've made. Um, I've got a Christmas present in this box here in front of me. So, oh, I'm dropping stuff now. So this box here, crochet. My best friend Crystal got me this. It was I got this for Christmas, full of yarn and patterns. It was lovely. So um, yeah, this is full. This box here, you can see. Oh, I'm losing my hook. So that's full. That's a Christmas present, and um, a new crochet technique that I've come across that I'm actually loving at the moment which I will go into at some point in this video so um a friend of mine and my sister's is having a baby um she is having a little boy and my aunt's sister asked me she said if I buy you the yarn will you make her a blanket my sister can crochet and can knit but she just doesn't so yes fine I'll do it I'll do it so I made this little beauty. Now, if you've got me on Instagram, you might have seen a very small square of this when I first started it. But um, this is the finished article. It's very, very similar to a virus. But it's not. So, yeah. I found this pattern on YouTube. I can't remember the lady's name, but I will try and find the video and link it in the description box below. Um, the pattern was just a simple repeat. It, once you've got the first section in the middle, you then do the continuous repeat. Now every row, every repeat has these popcorn stitches, but she shows you in the actual pattern if you don't want to put the popcorn stitch on every row, you can alternate that with another way of doing it, which is what I've done. So the the sort of minty green has got the popcorn and the grey hasn't. So I alternated it so it wasn't so much. It looks a bit different that way. But I think it's a beautiful blanket. I've literally got... How many ends? Is that it? Oh no, I've got two lots of ends to sew in that's it so here and end here and an end here and it's good to go so that is one done also my brother is expecting baby number two so um i've been doing some bits for him i did this blanket you would have also seen a piece of this on my Instagram because I did post a picture when I first started it. This needs end sewing in as well. So this is just, oh, where is it? Let me 
let me just grab it without knocking on my wall down. So this is the Aldi So Crafty Yarn. I don't even know. It's that really thick, light blanket yarn, but it's glittered. So you, obviously in that you can't see. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It has got bits of glitter in it. I'm trying to look through the holes, see if I can see it on the camera, but I don't know. But this was just basically a V-stitch. Am I showing you the right side or the wrong side? I'm showing you the wrong side. So yeah. It was a V-stitch all the way from top to bottom. And then I just did, is that a single or a half? No, that looks like a half double crochet. So it looks like I've done a half double crochet border row all the way around until I ran out of yarn. So yeah, that's just one simple blanket that I'm going to give to my brother and his missus for the baby. And the second one is this little number here that I'm in the process of making. Where did the crochet hook go? Oh, I've not lost it again. Right, so, there's a, there's been a, is that the hook? I found it. <clears throat> right, so there's been a lot of um, these blankets going round recently. Where's the front page? There it is. Um, a lot of people are doing them. Um, this one is just a simple one. There are a lot of very intricate designs out there and people are doing them and they look amazing. I just don't think I'm ready for that advanced work yet. So I've started working on a mosaic blanket. Um, I love them. I've, I'm in a group on Facebook. The detail in some of them is absolutely amazing but it just so looks so complicated so i've just started off with what i thought was what i think is an easy one which is a pattern called the everly blanket by bella coco um she has released the pattern she also she's got a tutorial for it on youtube i will try and link that in the description box and also she is she does have a written pattern it's a paid for pattern. So if you want the written pattern, you will need to follow the links in the description box when I put it in here um, to where you can get the pattern. The pattern was, I think it was three pounds. So, um, and it does say it is an intermediate pattern. I wouldn't say it's, mm, I would say it's a simple pattern. You just got to concentrate on what you're doing. Um, so I don't think you'd need intermediate skills. It's, it's literally the simplest of stitches you're using um, in American terms. You're using single crochet, double crochet, chain. In UK terms, that would be double crochet, treble chain. And it's literally, that's what you're doing. It's not that hard at all. So this is the front page of the pattern. And she goes into great detail every row. She writes down the description of the row. And she also pictures what your work should look like at the end of that row. So there is no way that you can make a mistake. When I will say that, I made a mistake and I had to pull it. Um, but yeah, so that pattern is up on Bella Coco's. Is she on Love Crafts? I'm sure I bought it off Love Crafts. But it is a copyrighted pattern. So yeah, this is what I've got so far. Isn't it amazing how that works? So this is just the next bit up, which I'm working on. This bit here, believe it or not, is extended single crochet or double crochet in UK terms. Um, I've never done an extended single crochet before, but it actually does work up really well. So um, everything, on when you're working mosaic, you're working in UK terms, double crochet, US terms, single crochet. Um, your rows, uh, that all the way across until you need to do 
a stitch down a couple rows, which is when you will use your double crochets. So you'll drop down a couple rows to do double crochets, and that's what gives you the pattern. So, um, yeah, it is beautiful. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. For that, where's all? Everything's just going missing today. I'm all over the place. Right, so this is also yarn that I'm sure that I bought from Aldi. So Kirkton House, I'm sure this is Aldi yarn. Double knit yarn. This is white. Um, 100 grams this ball is. I've got, I bought a pack of four. I'm sure it was 3 99 for a pack of four from Aldi. So I'm using that wool, that white, with my very old favourite, Baby Care by Woolcraft. I do love Baby Care by Woolcraft. And that one is in the blue. So I've got a few balls of these, and I've, well, three and a bit balls of this. So that is what I'm working on at the moment. So once that is finished, I will hopefully get some pictures up to my Instagram so you can all have a little nose. Um, what else? Oh, my sister also asked me to make this for my niece for Christmas. I haven't finished it, finished it. It's finished, but it's not finished, finished. So, Bumblebee. I don't like amigurumi. It bugs me. I just, I don't do as well with amigurumi. No, not this sort of amigurumi anyway. But yeah, I did it didn't take long now the yarn i used for this was ah oh, this is um i found this because of kim kim from blue cherub oh is it just blue cherub do you know i haven't done this in so long i cannot remember everyone's names now um but yeah kim posted up a picture on facebook about the mariner's yarn and this mariner's yarn and my sister had been asking me for a few weeks before that my niece wanted one of these bees. And it was trying to find a yellow and a black. You could find white everywhere, but trying to find a yellow and a black. And once Kim posted the picture, I saw the yellow and I was like, oh my God, is that the wool that I need? So I went on the website, saw it, ordered it, made it. I've just got to do a nose and a mouth. That's what's missing. I haven't done it yet, but it's for Christmas, so I've still got time. But it is done. So that yarn from Marinite, it's it does work up really, really well. I'm trying to see if I've got any more. I do, or do I? It's in this box. Um, no, I haven't got no labels. This is what I've got left. So you can see it's like that blanket yarn. It is really nice and it works up really well and it's so soft. But this is what I've got left of that one. Um, I can't remember how much it was a ball. I don't know if it was 150 or two pound or 250. I really can't remember. But Mariners, this is where I got this from. Came in a couple of days, absolutely great. So that is done. Um, what else did I have to show you? Um, I actually let me get these out. So I obviously I make a lot of bits and I gift them. I gift more than I do sell. Um, but I got these made up to put them on my on my. Um, made items um because um a couple of over the last couple of weeks my mum made a she knitted a pullover sort of thing for my sister it was sort of like a lacy jumper it was really really nice um my sister washed it and after it came out the wash it didn't fit her again because it was like a tent it was massive it stretched that much um, I can't remember what wash you put it on, but I said to her, you put it on the wrong wash, you should always put it on a wall wash. Um, even with acrylics that are, say they can go on a 40 degree wash, anything that I make, I wash on a wall wash. Because not only do you want to keep the wash cool, you don't want it to spin out that much where it stretches your stuff. So, I thought the best thing to do 
would be to get some care labels made so that I can sew them into my stuff and then people actually know not to tumble dry your stuff because Crystal did that. I made a unicorn for my goddaughter. Crystal put it in a washing machine and the tumble dryer and the unicorn became a floppy mess. It didn't do anything after that. So um, yes, have to be careful with the washing. So I don't know how well you can see that. So it says handmade by Katrina and it's got the wash there. So I'll read what it says. So wash at 30 degrees on a wall cycle. Do not tumble dry. Do not iron dry flat. So got all of that done. I think these cost me, there was 50 labels here and I'm sure it was like four pounds something and the postage was free. So it was not too bad. So those from now on will be sewn into any items that I make so people know not to wash them on certain things that so you don't want them ruined but um yeah I think that's it really I have been I have been working have been crocheting and doing bits I have got um another couple of items that I've got to show you but I need to wash them and block them and there's a basket in my kitchen full of crochet stuff that needs to be washed and blocked and then sorted out um, so yeah, I will show you that in the next video. I don't want to throw too much at you at this point because I haven't done a video in so long. I could be here all day. Um, yeah, that's basically it really. It's just, you might have also seen on my Instagram that I made an outfit for a friend of mine. Um, she's a dancer in London called Miss Rose, um, a dance hall queen. Some of you may know what that is. Some of you may not. Um, I made her a, a pair of shorts, little pair of shorts and a little sort of bralette. Um, she wore that to an event that she was promoting and that she was um, performing at. And that she sent me loads of videos and whatever of her dancing in it. So that is also on my Instagram. Um, so have a look at that. That was a lovely outfit as well. So I have been doing stuff. I just haven't been on YouTube. And I do pop on every now and then and I'll catch up with what people are doing and go and have a look and see what's going on. But um, it's just the last year or so, life has just been weird. It has been weird, um, the whole COVID situation. Um, hopefully we are coming out of it. Um, I am double jabbed, double jabbed. Um, and that is mainly because um, I wanted to be going away next year. And you can't really do anything unless you're vaccinated. So I got vaccinated. But on the plus size, I am fully booked and paid for, ready to go for my 40th birthday in March to Jamaica with my sister and my friends. So that is all done, all paid for. We are all going. We're all vaccinated. So can't wait for that. That's March. Watch this space. There'll probably be some videos from that. But um yeah so that's basically it i've got another project that well i say another project i've got enough projects going on but there is one in the in the pipeline that i have the yarn for down here so you can see this isn't even all the yarns by the way there's another packet down there actually no there's another two packets down there I didn't even realise. But um, this is for a, a blanket for my firstborn son. He no longer lives at home. He lives in Luton because he was working at the airport. Um, that's a long story. He's no longer working on the planes, but he is still living in Luton. So, yeah, this blanket's for him. So once these current bits are done dusted and out of the way or at least near to completion I will start this and I will tell you all what it is I'm doing but yes Mariner if you're looking for good quality cheap yarn Mariner's yarn is the way to go I'm sure these were only a poundable they were only a poundable and the yardage is quite good on them uh, let me see 
see. Let me put it there. It doesn't actually. What does it? 328 yards per ball. 300 meters. This is about average. But it's a pound a ball. And the wall's absolutely fine. It's perfect. It works well. So why not? So, um. Yeah, I'm not getting all of it out. Well, I'm not going to be able to get it all back in. Oh. So, yeah. Basically, that is... What is that? Oh. Nothing. So, that is it. That's literally... I've been here. I've been crocheting. Um, I just haven't been recording. But I do need to get back into it. So, hopefully now, I'm getting back into a routine. So, at the moment, today's Monday. Swimming. I need to exercise. I need to lose a bit of my belly for Jamaica next year. So, yeah. So from this week, it's going to be swimming three times a week and whatnot, trying to, you know, lose a few pounds. But um, I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone's well, because it has been a bit of a weird time with the whole COVID situation. Um it is, it is, it has been crazy, it has been crazy, but it is what it is, we are slowly, slowly coming out of it, but, um, enough about that, um, I'm going to go, so I've been baffling on at you for 20 odd minutes, and, um, I'm gonna sort this video out, hopefully get it uploaded before I go swimming, and I will be making another video, and I definitely will be making another video, very soon so hopefully by this time next week you should have had another video i am going to try and be on it um try and make sure that i am sharing with you i'm not because it's it's like i do things and then i'm like oh i give it away and then i haven't got it to show you so it's it's really it is hard sometimes <laughs> just i'd make things and then i gift them and then i haven't got them for example like the um, outfit that I made for my friend Miss Rose. Like, I made it, I didn't even take a picture of it when I made it. I made it, washed it, and I sent it to her straight away because I, know, I needed, knew she needed it that weekend. And it was literally a Wednesday when I'd finished it. I had to wash it and get it sent to her. So, um, yeah, no, I, I, I don't always get to picture what I've made or even show anyone because they just get sent straight off. So I do need to be more on the ball with that so that people can actually see what I am making. Um, there's some other things that me and my sister we're um, talking about at the moment um, that possibly might come up later on once we've once I've actually managed to sit her down and, and discuss it because she's always doing something. Um, but yeah, the only other problem that I've got at the moment is that my son seems to have taken up crochet and um, he keeps going into my stash and taking my yarn. And it's yarn sometimes that I might need. <laughs> there was um, one project that I was working on. I was making another pair of shorts. And the yarn that I needed, I just started with this yarn. It was um, Karen Simply Soft yarn. Where is it? So, I haven't finished them yet. But they're like little boy shorts. Like little sports shorts. But this yarn, my son... I had a few balls of this and my son decided to break into it and mess about with it and make something and it left me short. So I wanted to make a top to go with it, but I now can't, I don't have enough yarn. So um, yeah, these shorts are still here. But um, yeah, this was another ball of yarn. This is showing up purpley, but it's actually navy. And my son started off making something I don't know what he was making and then he put it down the hook's gone missing and he just left it there and then if I say anything he's like I'm making something well what are you making because it's sitting here that's a whole ball of wool that you have wasted basically we need to stop doing that but um yeah it drives me mad so it's at the moment I did a sort out last week and all of my really really nice yarn that I do not want him to get is right in the back of this cupboard um, anything else is just out and, you know, all over the place. But, um, yeah, so anyway, I am really going now. Um, I need to sort this video out and then I need to go swimming. So, 
everybody i will see you all again hopefully next week take care behave if you cannot behave don't get caught and i will see you all later bye